Hey Premiere Pros, it's Paul Murphy here, and today I'm gonna to show you how to turn Premiere markers into chapters on YouTube. Indexing your videos with YouTube chapters makes it really easy for your audience to navigate your video, and all it requires is just adding timestamps to your video's description. But what I would like to do is generate this list by using markers in my Premiere Pro sequence. So I'm just gonna switch over to Premiere Pro, and here in my sequence, I've added a marker everywhere where I want to add a chapter point in YouTube. And I've just added a little description of what each of these chapter points is as well. And an important thing to note is your first marker needs to start at zero. Otherwise, YouTube isn't going to recognize any of your chapters. And then to export these markers out of Premiere, I'm just going to select my sequence and then just go up to File, Export, Markers. So for the file type, I'm going to choose Text File. You can choose a destination and then click OK. And then I'll click open folder to take me to that file. And here are my exported markers here. I'll just double click this to open it up. And it's just basically a tab delimited file that has the name of my sequence, the time code of the marker and the description of the marker. But what I need to do is get this into a format that YouTube will recognize. And the biggest problem here is that my time code has come in as hours, minutes, seconds, and frames. YouTube doesn't recognize frames at all. So I need to get rid of the frames in my time code. And I also need to delete these empty columns. So what I'm gonna do is show you how to reformat this on a Mac, and then I'll show you how to reformat on Windows. It's mostly the same, but there's just a slight variation between the two. So over here on Mac, I've opened this up in text edit. And the first thing I'm gonna do is get rid of this first row. So I'll just triple click and then press delete. And then I wanna get rid of all of the columns before the time code. To do that, I'm gonna hold down the option key and I'm going to select everything across here and then press delete. And then I'll do the same thing to get rid of the frames in my time code. So I'll hold down option. I'll move my cursor to where the frames are and then click and drag down. And then I'll press delete. And then I need to replace these columns here. And there's actually three columns. I need to replace them with spaces. So to do that, I'll go up to my edit menu and choose find and find and replace. And in the find box, I'm going to hold down the option key and press tab three times. So I'm looking for three tabs. And in the replace box, I'm just going to press space and then replace all. And now this is formatted for use over in YouTube. I'll show you how to do it in Windows. I'm gonna stay on a Mac, but the process is the same. So for Windows, you actually wanna open this up in Microsoft Word and you'll just get this little conversion window, which is okay. I'm gonna change the view to web layout. And then I'm going to select this first line here and press delete. I'm gonna select all of these columns before the time code again by holding down the Alt key if you're on Windows. And then I'll press delete. I'll do the same thing with the frames in my time code. So I'll move my cursor here, hold down the Alt key and then click and drag and then press delete. And then we just need to replace these three columns here. So I'll go up and choose edit, find, find and replace. And in the find box, I'm gonna hold down shift and press six to get the little hat icon and then press T. So that is the symbol for tab. And I'm gonna do that three times because I have three tabs in succession. And I wanna replace that with a space. And then I'll choose replace all. And now this is formatted for use on YouTube. So you could just select all and copy and paste it into your description on YouTube. Or if you wanted to send this directly from Premiere over to YouTube, you could just go up and make a copy. I'll jump back over to Premiere and I'll export my sequence. So file, export, media. And I'm gonna go over to the publish tab where I can publish this to different sites all the way down to the bottom where I have my YouTube settings added. And all I need to do then is just paste those time codes into my description box and then it will upload my video to YouTube along with my chapters. So there you go. That's just a quick way to turn Premiere Pro markers into chapters on YouTube. I hope you found this useful. And if you did, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.